Good morning everybody. I just wanted to share this video because a few moments ago I had this uh, moment that I felt the grace of God. I literally felt how much He loves us. I mean, we are His favorite creation. We are what He shows off to the world, to the universe, as His favorite creation. I don't know about aliens, I don't know about other forms of life, I know about us humans. He loves us more than anything else in the world. And He gave us the same tools that He created the earth with, this reality, for us to create the reality that he gave us to create that's how much he loves us now this will resonate more with fathers like I'm a father and I love my kids in, in levels that it's hard to explain but you know sometimes they do good sometimes they do bad uh, I still love them. Sometimes I get mad at them because they're, you know, they're kids, so they're not consciously thinking about the how, the consequences of what they're gonna do. Uh, but they're kids. That's their job: is to uh, stay curious and and stay che cheerful and playful. And uh, they have all that energy to explore, and that's us. As grown up, we need not to forget that we are still God's children. At, at 90, you will be a child of God. It never ends. But you need to understand that you have to stay curious like a child. You still have to explore because at any age, doesn't matter if you live 20,000 years, you will not know how much you can absorb and release from His greatness. He put you as an unlimited vessel of love for this world. But unfortunately, society has the doing of the devils in it. Anything that is associated with hate, anger, jealousy, the seven deadly sins, is the work of the devil. Now why would God put in his favorite kingdom, planet Earth, the doing of the devils, and then the freedom of choice? A simple test to see who are you personally is willing to admire him you will never you will have no hate no jealousy no one of the seven deadly sins in your heart but if you choose to adore the devil yes they will exist in you Freedom of choice, God, the devil, reality tools to create. We need to start thinking for ourselves, not as a society, as individuals. Do I adore God or do I adore the devil? And at any moment you find yourself at anger, jealousy, uh, or any or any other of the deadly sins or even the deadliest sin is to deny yourself deny the God in you deny the love deny the expression of the soul is the deadliest sin is denying God denying your soul is denying God your soul is in your heart compassion love grace God heart put it all together and every day ask yourself where did I fall from the grace of God and showed that I adore the devil and 
never repeat it again. Put God in your heart, put God in your mind, put God on your lips. Everything else will be yours. He will give you the kingdom. Or, the other side, not a good option. God bless us all. Try to feel the grace and love of God by surrendering to the moment of creation. Once you put your mind and body at ease, things will float up. And that's your duty in the world. That's what you're here to express. Some of us find it soon. Some of us find it later. But everybody here, for one reason and one reason only, to add light to the world. God didn't send any one of us to a darkness because we are light. And some of you wonder then why some people do ABC? Well, that's a question they need to ask themselves. Just like I said, ask yourself, leave society alone. Am I adoring God or am I adoring the devil? The answers will be very obvious and clear. This is a very black or white deal. Simple as that. Start thinking as an individual, as a creature of God. And that thought will create a new society. Because that thought, it's, world, it's what the world is going to anyway. So the sooner you join it, the better. Start thinking from your heart. Start thinking from the godly state as an individual and watch how society is influenced from your thoughts and actions. Act like a godly man. Don't just think like one. Express love and compassion on a daily basis in your thoughts, words, and actions. God bless us all. Peace is coming on earth. There is no other way. The world is going to God. On the way, we as humans may not see the whole picture, but denying the fact that the world is going to God is denying God himself. God bless us all.